We are told b of one is equal to negative seven, and b of n is equal to b of n minus one plus 12. And they're asking us to find the fourth term in the sequence. So what we have up here, which you could use a function definition, it's really defining the terms of a sequence. So especially if you were to input whole numbers in here, it's the index on your sequence. So what we really want to do is we want to figure out what is b of four going to be equal to? Well, if we just blindly apply this, we would say, all right, b of four, so b of n is equal to b of n minus one plus 12. So it's going to be b of four minus one plus 12. Well, four minus one is just three, so it's going to be equal to b of three plus 12. All I did is said, okay, well, we're not trying to figure out, or we're not immediately trying to figure out what b of one is. We're trying to figure out what b of four is. So n is equal to four. So b of four is going to be equal to b of four minus one, or b of three plus 12. Well, to evaluate this, we have to figure out what b of three is. So let's write that down. That's what's fun about a recursive definition. You have to keep recursing backwards. So b of three, well, if n is three, that's going to be equal to b of, now n minus one is two. b of two plus 12. Well, we don't know what b of two is, so let's keep going. So we need to figure out b of two, if we use the same definition, b of two is going to be equal to b of two minus one plus 12. So b of two minus one, that's b of one plus 12. But we don't know what b of one is, so let's figure that out. B of one is equal to, well here we can finally use this top clause. So B of one is equal to negative seven. So now we can go and fill everything back in. If B of one is equal to negative seven, then we know that this right over here is negative seven. And now we can figure out that B of two is equal to negative seven plus 12, which is equal to five. Well if B of two is equal to five, well then this is equal to five right over here. And then now we know that b of three is equal to five plus 12, which is equal to 17. Well, if we know that b of three is equal to 17, then we're ready to calculate what b of four is going to be. b of four is now, it's b of three, which we figured out was 17, plus 12, which is equal to 29. And we are done.